What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to be tackling a really annoying issue with Adobe Premiere Pro. If I go ahead and import a very large image just to demonstrate this with, you'll see that it obviously barely fits. I'll go ahead, go to the Effects tab, search for Transform, just as an example, and I'll add Transform to the image. Then I'll shrink it down to say 30%, and I'll move it up to the top of the image. In fact, let's make it a bit bigger. So I've got my effect here. I'd like it to slowly scroll down. So I'll go ahead and create a position point right at the beginning. I'll scroll forwards in time, create another point, And this time I'll shift it vertically upwards as such. So what exactly is this going to do? Well, of course, it scrolls down. Cool. So what happens if I add a third point that's much further scroll down to say all the way at the bottom of the image here. And this one's a slow scroll to begin with. So it'll start at point zero, move to point one where it's slightly scrolled down. And then the third point is all the way down at the bottom. You expect it to go slow from here to here and then really fast to the bottom of the image, right? Well, if I go ahead and reverse to the start and hit play, you'll see that the image moves vertically downwards and then upwards. What exactly is happening here? Well, to say the least, a little bit of confusion. If I scroll forward frame by frame, you can see the image coming down before it starts to go up and it moves towards the correct point. What exactly is happening here? Well, if I have a look at the position, you see it's supposed to be decreasing, but instead it's increasing until about here and then it starts counting down again, even though this point is lower than this point and there's no magic. What's wrong? Well, simply how Premiere Pro is interpolating between these two, creating more points. What is it? Well, the simplest fix is to select all of your keyframes within this effects window, right click on one of them, spatial interpolation, and then change it from auto bezier back to linear. Upon doing this, it should be a smooth linear scroll straight down to where you'd expect it to be, which it is, and then a really fast scroll automatically all the way down to the bottom of the image, which is also exactly what I expected. Why exactly it hasn't done this in the first place is beyond me, but that's just a quirk with Premiere Pro, where if this spatial interpolation is set to auto bezier, it seems to go the wrong way. Continuous bezier also has the same issue. Bezier has the exact same issue once again. The only thing that seems to work is the linear spatial interpolation. I'm not too sure if this is specific to large images as well. However, I can still go to temporal interpolation and set, say, auto bezier. So it's a slow increase from point A to point B where it speeds up. And then from point B all the way down to point C, it's slowly accelerating as it goes. Same with continuous bezier. That also works super slow, speeding up, speeding up, speeding up and it just carries on accelerating until it gets to the bottom of the page. And of course, if you wanted to, you could set it to linear, select whatever point you want and ease into that point and maybe ease out as well. So it'll come in and slowly slow down until it reaches this point. When it reaches the point, it'll stop and then speed up rather dramatically to get to the end of the document there. So why exactly spatial interpolation has any sort of negative effect like this is beyond me, but it's just a quirk with Premiere Pro. Now, of course, this was only for the position, but I'm quite sure if I played around with some other plugins and did some animation on those, you might expect to see the same sort of going backwards before I actually choose to go forwards like you're telling me, which is really odd. But hey, that's just Premiere Pro. But anyways, hopefully this video helped you as it helped me. I've been struggling with this personally for weeks. I've ended up just making the clip longer and then cutting it way after my first and possibly even second keyframe just to get it to start somewhere in the right position. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.